Hi everybody, it's Tim with Tim Boy Photography. This week's tutorial is a review of the brand new Olympus OMD E M1 Mark III. Now, I've had this camera for a couple of weeks. I've had it out in the field doing my bird photography. So this is going to be a field review of what I've found with this camera. This video is not sponsored by Olympus Camera or by Topaz Denoise AI, although I use both of those products regularly in my work. Olympus was kind enough to let me use a copy of this camera before it launched, and I'm grateful for that. And so here's my review and what I think about the Olympus OMD EM1 Mark III for bird photography. All right, let's roll the intro. So some specs worth mentioning here. There's a brand new TruePic 9 processor, and that processor is able to just about have everything on it that the two processors in the M1X has. So this smaller body has just about everything in it that the M1X has if you were talking about bird photography. So we've got the 20.4 megapixel live MOS sensor, we've got five axis IBIS, we've got 7.5 stop uh, image stabilization when if you're using one of the IS lenses like this Pro 300 F4 IS lens. And if you use any other micro four thirds camera, you'll have seven stops of image stabilization. You know, there's 101 cross type phase detection points, you know, 75% vertical coverage and 80% horizontally. So really good things in this camera. The picture of a ring build gold, 1 640th of a second F6.3 ISO 400 with the M1 Mark III and the 300 millimeter F4 IS Pro lens. So sharp image, nice color here. Now features that are awesome, but I won't use as a bird photographer, but they're in this. The face detection, eye priority AF has been improved. There's a starry night AF, so there's an ability to focus on stars at night. You get a 50 megapixel handheld high res shot, takes 16 pictures, combines them together. And that's handheld, 50 megapixels. And then you get an 80 megapixel high res shot if you use it on a tripod. So those are some pretty incredible things that this camera has. Now, who is this for? I know recently, this summer, Olympus did a software or a firmware update on the M1 Mark II. And so it's similar to the M1X, but now we have a camera that pretty much for bird photography is the M1X and it is a pound lighter. So if you want a compact, lightweight, agile shooting camera for bird photography, maybe you like to walk around uh, to do your bird photography a lot, you can use this camera, hand hold it, you save a pound. So the M1X with the 300 millimeter F4 IS Pro lens is about five and a half pounds. And the, the M1 Mark III with the 300 millimeter F4 IS Pro lens is you know, four and a half pounds. So you save a pound and you get all the great functions that make this camera an excellent bird photography camera. So here's a little Ruby Crown Kinglet, one 125th of a second. So really slow shutter speed, but really sharp image. And you can see that uh, this was taken at ISO 400. What's not in this camera that's in the M1X? There's no uh, trains, planes, or motorsports auto tracking. I didn't really use that for bird photography, so that's a uh, that's okay with me. Um, the only critical thing that I think about this camera is that it has one SD uh, USH2 slot, and that's number one, slot number one is that one, and then slot number two is an SD USH1 slot, and I am not sure why they just didn't put both slots as USH2, because they're so much faster and so much better. I really wish they would have done that. Here's a bald eagle, one 1250th of a second f4 iso 400 native iso is about 200 so uh, no real noise in this it was a pretty sunny day out at the ocean here's a belted kingfisher one 800th of a second iso 200 no digital noise um, i used the teleconverter on this so i shot at f56 sharp image cool to get this bird so crisp and then here is a peregrine falcon i shot all of this in raw my Adobe software wouldn't process these images, so I had to process them in the Olympus workspace, exported them as TIFFs, brought them into Lightroom, touched them up a little bit. Some of them I ran through uh, Topaz Denoise AI, which is a great program. But you can see I'm getting nice sharp images with this camera and this lens combination. 
Here again, female mallard duck, pin sharp, nice feather detail, great image there. I found these uh, yellow rump warblers and they're flitting around a lot and I was able to track them and get some shots. Didn't have much chance to do birds in flight photography with this camera just because of the weather conditions I had this last couple of weeks. But tracking these little yellow rump warblers flitting around chasing down insects and eating them, I was able to get some good shots, stay on the bird quite easily. And then here we go, this Glaucus wing gull. I shot this as a uh, RAW and JPEG and then converted it in Lightroom. And you know, it's a Glaucus wing, Western hybrid gull, taking a bath, so lots of action. Still though, you know, pretty sharp detail. Here's my ISO test. Uh, here's this gull at 200. And then here is it zoomed in. It's, you know, this is a very gray, dark, foggy, rainy day in the Pacific Northwest. And this image came out okay. Um, you know, here it is at 400 and then at 800. Can't tell much from that shot, but this shot, you can see that, you know, a little bit of noise is creeping in in here. And then at 1600, we get a little bit of noise in here. 3200. Uh, starts to fall apart a little bit at 3200 and I think when we get to 6400 not great I can always run them through you know this denoise AI program from Topaz and things come out beautifully I mean you can see here there's noise here this is cleaned up a little bit I don't think I have much I gotta turn the recovery details on here so it's not set perfectly but you run it through this program and you don't have to worry about whether you shoot with a full frame or a crop sensor anymore. So to me, that's a non-issue. I think this is a great camera. It's a great camera lens combination with the 300 f4 IS lens. So here's a raw image converted to TIFF and then processed in Lightroom and with a little denoise uh, AI run on it. And that's a very crisp, sharp image of this bald eagle. And then here we have a bald eagle raw converted to TIFF again in the Olympus workspace. And then here it is, the TIFF I processed in Lightroom and then ran a little bit of denoise on there. And look at the sharp talons down here, sharp eyeball. This camera is for anybody that wants a lightweight, compact camera to walk around. It's an improvement over the M1 Mark II. I think this is a wonderful bird photography camera. You're gonna get fast autofocus. You're gonna be able to acquire the a subject, the birds quickly. You're gonna have really good images. It's portable, it's compact, and I'm looking forward to adding this to my kit so that I can have a lightweight camera that I can take with me anywhere. On an upcoming video, I'll do a review of the Olympus OM-1 Mark III for birds in flight. So look for that in the near future. If you want to learn more about bird photography and take your photography to the next level, hit the subscribe button and then click on the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. And remember, you can get a copy of my book. It's available on Amazon as a Kindle and a trade paperback. And then if you want to take your bird photography to the next level, check out my workshops on timboyerphotography.com. I teach a five-day intensive bird photography class where I try to teach you everything you need to know about bird photography. And I add a lot of photography fundamentals into that because I know most of us are self-taught and there are gaps in our knowledge about photography. Hey, thanks a lot for watching this week. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.